Oliver Wendell Holmes Jr. was a prominent figure in American law and politics in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Born on March 8, 1841, in Boston, Massachusetts, Holmes was the son of a renowned physician and poet Oliver Wendell Holmes Sr. Despite his father's wishes for him to pursue a medical career, Holmes opted for law, attending Harvard Law School and graduating in 1866. After a brief stint as a lawyer in Boston, Holmes joined the Union Army during the Civil War and served in several battles, including Antietam and Fredericksburg. He was wounded three times and earned a reputation as a brave and dedicated soldier. Following the war, Holmes returned to his legal career, eventually becoming a professor at Harvard Law School. Holmes quickly gained a reputation as an outstanding legal scholar and thinker, and in 1882, he was appointed to the Massachusetts Supreme Court. He quickly established himself as a progressive judge, advocating for individual rights and civil liberties. In 1902, Holmes was appointed to the United States Supreme Court by President Theodore Roosevelt. During his time on the Supreme Court, Holmes became known for his distinctive approach to legal reasoning, which he called the path of the law. He believed that the law should be based on experience and pragmatic considerations, rather than abstract legal principles. Holmes also advocated for judicial restraint, arguing that judges should defer to the decisions of elected officials and the democratic process. Despite his views on judicial restraint, Holmes was not afraid to take a stand on controversial issues. He famously dissented in the case of Lochner v. New York, in which the Supreme Court struck down a state law regulating working hours for bakers. Holmes argued that the law was a reasonable exercise of the state's police powers and should be upheld. Holmes retired from the Supreme Court in 1932, at the age of 90, after serving for more than 30 years. He died two years later, on March 6, 1935, in Washington, D.C. Today, he is remembered as one of the most influential legal thinkers in American history, whose ideas about the law and the role of judges continue to shape legal thinking and practice to this day.